buddies. <clears throat> it is Monday, October 12th, also known as 101-202 anniversary for somebody I know <clears throat> that got married on October the 12th, 2002. Anyway, uh, I have a story, and I hope it makes you laugh, and it's a true story. I want to tell the story of the time that I placed in a 5k and not any 5k my very first 5k it was the turkey trot in Kandahar Afghanistan and it was Thanksgiving Day oh what year was that 2013 no 2012 I signed up for the turkey trot and like most 5k's I've done before uh, I'm not in any hurry. I just want to do it. I just want to do it to show support to... I think it was the... Uh, oh, what do you call it? The... Um, when they wear the... Where they wear the bomb detonation suits. Oh, I can't remember what you call that group. Anyway, uh, it was for that group. They were raising money for whatever thing that they did. As a matter of fact, when uh, they were advertising the 5K... Those guys were wearing those suits, those blast suits. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe, I cannot remember what you call those suits. Um, they were wearing them in that, you know, 105 degree heat in Afghanistan. They were wearing them to get attention. So people will say, why are you wearing that? And then they were selling the t-shirts, really cool t-shirts. So it was Thanksgiving day and uh, we had the day off, which was very rare over there because... You know, they, they spent a lot of money to train you and to ship you over there and to house you. And so the whole point was for you to work 10-hour days, 7 days a week, month after month after month. <clears throat> so it was a rare day off we had. And I think we had the day off as long as we did the turkey trot. So I did the turkey trot and <laughs> within uh, 15 or 10 minutes of it, some of my workmates finished it and uh i'm not even halfway done okay and they were such absolute angels they circled back to walk with me which was so kind i mean really really kind so 10 or 15 minutes after this started there was hundreds of people because that base had thousands of people on it but there was hundreds of people uh walking and running in this turkey trot but 10 or 15 minutes into the race i was joking that you could see tumbleweeds going across. I mean, it was absolutely deserted. Everybody was gone. They did it. It was over with. They were gone. And there I was walking. So they came back and they were walking with me. And that's when I realized an ambulance was pacing me. And it was full of Air Force guys. And they sidled up alongside me. Hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm fine. And they're like, you doing okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm walking in the turkey trot. And they're like, okay, well, um, and this is what he said, swear to God. He said, would you like a ride? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to complete the turkey trot. I mean, I, I know I'm a big girl, but I, I am capable of walking uh, five kilometers. It's really not a big deal. I'm not in any hurry or anything. Uh, I'm not in any stress or anything. And the next thing he said, no, next thing the driver said over the passenger to me, said to me, go ahead, get in. Nobody will know. <laughs> and I'm like, are you really kidding me right now? Are you seriously kidding me? Why? What is going on? I don't understand why. And, uh, <clears throat> And then my coworker said, well, it's over and everybody's gone and you're still walking. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. I'm last place. I was the last one and the people sponsoring the race could not be done and be off to enjoy their day off until absolutely everybody had completed the race because... If I were to drop of a heart attack, nobody would have been around to help me and they would have been liable. So that was my very first 5K that I placed in. 
last place. It's very hum, 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 humiliating. I was humified, humidified and humiliated. <laughs> it was very, very humiliating. But that was my 5K for the turkey trot <clears throat> in Kandahar. So that's my humiliating story of the day. Uh, hope you guys have a happy Monday. Bye!